All right, guys, what's up? Today is day 206, I guess we're gonna, we're just gonna say 206 of grinding until I become a millionaire, daily check-in videos where I talk about how I'm trying to become a millionaire, what I'm working on. Um, I gotta keep these quick, I've been, I'm a day behind and um, dude, yesterday was just bad. I mean, not bad, it, it was fine, but <clears throat> anyway, daily check-in videos. I have a YouTube channel, makes me some passive affiliate income, and I have a small social media agency that um, has been growing a little bit over the last few months. I started it late February, and now here we are five, six months in. Um, I hit, the like third month, I hit 10K. Now, obviously I don't keep all that. I have expenses that go out, but I'm trying to get to that point where I should have 10K coming in after expenses. Um, but I really want to take it from 10 to about 20. So that's kind of what I'm working on. And I guess I just like to ramble of new, new ideas come up every day. So this is my journal so I can go back and look at how I spent my time, the struggles I faced, how I overcame them and like what I fucked up on, because I'm sure there's, gonna, there's already been a lot. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot more, but you know, at first this started as me doing talking about how I was growing my personal brand or my YouTube or any of those things. And this YouTube was growing. My, my main one has like 30 some K. So making videos in YouTube isn't hard for me. And this one, I don't put any effort in. I just do these check-in videos, half-ass thumbnail. Uh, it's a lot of fun, but now it's turned into more of me trying to figure out how to get this SMA to a million a year. And I have a plan. If I get 30 clients at $4,000 a month, that's under a hundred thousand dollars a month which is over a million dollars a year. And that doesn't seem that hard. You just have to find 30 businesses. I, I have to figure out how to deliver value for 30 businesses and they'll pay me, right? And so I have a handful of clients. I'm probably at eight or nine, not at that price point, but I just got my first one at, at that price point. And so now it's like cool proof of concepts there. I need to figure out how to move my lower clients up closer to that price and get more clients in but there's a lot of restraints. Like right now with how many clients I'm at, I'm pretty capped out. My editor's pretty capped out. And there's a lot of growing pains going on. So I went through my to-do list a couple of days ago and I, I switched it up. So I use things I should get over to. I use Asana for task management for my, my little team, but I use things for my own stuff. And maybe I don't have any reason to change that. I don't know, but I broke it down so I have two, three projects essentially. I have client management, which lists all of my clients. And then within that, I have the different sections for things, video ideas for them, to-do list items for them, and then their onboarding section. So I can make sure every client has the exact same onboarding experience. I just went through that yesterday with this newest client to make it more like, hey, here's, here's what's going on right now. Okay, here, let's pick a date, blah, blah, blah. Um, but then I have my third section, which is a million dollars per year, right? And within that, I've got $100,000 a month of MRR, video ideas for myself and for my brand, and then random notes, because I like to break those things down. But inside of the $100,000, I broke it into pretty much four things. And if, if I'm working on something that doesn't fit into these four things, then it's probably not that important. And I need to figure, I need to be better about that. It's like, hey, is this actually important? Is this actually worth my time? Because a lot of times I get just so fucking distracted on something stupid. And then I do it and I'm like, wow, that was a waste of time. Um, but the four, the four things are for the online course I'm building out. So online course is gonna be a down sell for people who still need to learn how to do social media, but they can't, right? The, the second one is getting new clients. Goal is two a month. If I could roll up two a month, which is pretty low um, at that new price point, that just compounds as long as I can do number three, which is improve client experience and results. And then number four is scale and break restraints. So essentially um, I have a list of videos I need to film for that course so I can start marketing that and just using that as a solid downsell. I have a list of things I need to do to get more clients like market a social media workshop that I'm gonna start putting on, promoting social, promoting it, booking the space, um, you know, maybe an advertising campaign if I start to do that. Improve client experience is the third one and I wanna keep about 90% retention because if I'm adding these clients every month but then the churn's three months, it's gonna take me forever to get to a million dollars a year. So I need to make sure that it's sticky and that they stay. 
um, and I want to set up Unipro. I want to do gift baskets, custom cookies. Like there's a lot of stuff moving here that I'm trying to do to, to really do my best to wow each client. Um, and then scaling and breaking res restraints is uh, setting up like, I need to set up a real business structure. I need to set up the S Corp, which is in the process. Maybe it should be in the process. Haven't heard anything. That's annoying. I need to do um, implement contracts. There's a lot of pieces there that I need to do because I'm hitting these restraints. I need to start building an editing team. Maybe it's going to be in-house. I don't know. Don't know yet. But they're like, it's like, hey, here's this problem. How can I fix that? So those are the pieces that I'm like, look, if I'm working on something and it doesn't have to do with that, then it's not going to help me get my business to the next level. And I always try to break these down into like OKR okay, goals or just really yes, no base goals, right? If I can add five people a month to the social media course downsell, is that going to get me closer to a million dollars? Yes. If I don't have the course built out, is that going to get me closer to a million dollars? No, right? And I think there's going to be a, a subscription model on the back end of that course. Course, the, the white label tools that I've built out for my clients and for my systems can be, be added onto the course. At a anyway, the uh, I ran out of storage, I guess. That's annoying. But anyway, I was just babbling about all that. Um, <clears throat> So essentially what I think I need to do to take it to the next level is keep delivering for clients, documenting those results. And then I'm going to start turning up the social media. I haven't really been doing anything, which is funny for me because it's like I'm the social media guy, but it's like I haven't needed it to grow. But it's like it's like turning on a water hose before you have a swimming pool, right? Like you're like, okay, I need to fill my swimming pool, but then you haven't even fucking set up the swimming pool or built the swimming pool. So then you just got water spraying all over, right? No way to capture it. That would be me doing social media right now. Cause I don't know exactly what my funnel is going to look like. I don't know what my lead magnet's going to look like. I haven't decided all of those things and I've kind of been just piecing it together, moving it around. I think what I'm going to do is everyone funnels into a discovery call and then discovery call either qualifies them or disqualifies them. Disqualifies goes to downsell, qualify goes to, um, we'll do a strategy session where I wanna look at their numbers, I wanna look at my system and make sure that I can actually provide them value and help them get money um, because I have a guarantee built into it. So that's kind of the direction. So then all the content I need to make is about clients, but then pushing to a discovery call. So <clears throat> that's, that's the rough idea. And once I get that completely ironed out, because it's changed a lot, I can uh, start making a bunch of social content to push people there and it's just going to be kind of crazy once I turn that on because I'm, like I said, I'm hardly doing anything. Um, but yeah, I think the next goal is going to be 20K a month. I think I can hit that in, what's to August, September, by the end of September? I think we'll do that, end of September. Now, it's going to be interesting. I'm not, I don't know what my... Um, system or like uh sales cycle looks like i don't know is this busy season for me right about now i would think not because most businesses are hurting around the summer so maybe we get more busy around december or november i i have no idea i really don't know but hopefully i can keep everyone on going and get more clients as it gets busier but i'm also going to cap it so I don't think I want to take more than one or two per month and I want to have genuine scarcity. Like I will display that like, Hey, only one spot open or Hey, no spots open, but you know, you can get on the list. I might have an opening next month. I do want to keep it around. <clears throat> I mean, eventually 30 clients, but right now the infrastructure I have to handle 10 is rough and it's going to be a leap. So like to get from 10 people to 20 people, I'm going to need to hire a person and I'm not going to be making it. It's not going to be as efficient at 11, 12, 13, 14 people. But then once I have 15, 16, 17, 18, then it makes more sense and there's more money coming in. So right now it's nice because I'm pretty much got the most amount of clients and I'm leveraging the expenses that I have as good as I can. But then to get to that next level, I'm going to have to add on 
more expenses to deliver for those people. And it's going to be a shift of, okay, well at 11 people, I'm still paying quite a bit more because now I have more editors or whatever at 12, 13, still not good. You know, that income's helped a little bit, but after 15, then I'm still able to handle 15, 16, 17, 18, and I'm making a lot more, if that makes sense. <clears throat> but that's where I see it all happening. Um, this is day 205. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go work out, get on with my day. I'm trying to build more of a structure and figure out how this all fits in. Oh, this is day 206. I'm sorry. Day 206. We'll see you guys tomorrow for day 207. Enjoy your day. Go make lots of money. We'll see you later.